be greeted in Jesus name uh, we just want to thank God for this wonderful day you know uh, we're still breathing we're able to do everything we're able to walk we're able to do all these kind of things it's by the grace of God so we just want to thank God for that giving us another chance to live in his presence uh, so thank God for the breath of life it's by his power it's not by our strength by his power it's by his grace so we just want to thank God uh for that for every day we just wake up we're able to do a lot of things so uh, actually i'm in a place called Malamlela. Uh, i'm in a place called Malamlela. just taking a walk yeah so while i'm walking i'll just share the word just give you the word the breakfast the breakfast the breakfast just want to give you a breakfast you know without the word of god we are nothing Without the word of God, we are nothing. And without the word of God, there is nothing that we can accomplish. In the spirit, there is nothing that we can accomplish for God. There is nothing that we can do for God without his word. Because his word is a foundation of everything that God is going to complete in our lives. So the word of God is, is the foundation. Get my point? So we need the word of God in our lives. We, we, we really need the word of God in our lives. And we really... Uh, need to know who is this God because we have a lot of people who are in the church but they don't know who is God they don't know God uh, they are clueless about a lot of things they are clueless about a lot of things uh, and when they are clueless about a lot of things they are, they are not serious about a lot of things in the church so it's because they are clueless can you imagine you have been in the church for the past 10 years? You have been in the church for the past 10 years, but even today you're not speaking in tongues. Can you imagine for that kind of thing? I don't even know what causes that, uh, what makes a person to speak in tongues. Uh, what is the baptism of the Holy Spirit? You are clueless about that. The Holy Communion, whatever is happening in the Bible, or whatever it's written in the Bible, we are so clueless. Actually, we we Christians we are clueless about a lot of things. We are clueless about a lot of things. So it's also in Lagos. Do come over, We'll find ourselves in the church, but we don't know who is this God. I stay in We don't even know how to pray. I go to Kongela. We don't even know how to know to pray in the Spirit. So. Let's pray in the spirit. To you, it seems like it's a very strange thing to do. Hearing some other people praying in tongues. To you, it's something that's annoying you. Very, like you're, you're annoyed by those tongues and that noise and and all the stuff. But anyway, we need to know God. You need to know God and you need to study the word of God. You need to study the Bible. That's why Bible is a very spiritual book. A Bible is a very spiritual book. If you come to the Bible, you can more a book. So that's why when you read the Bible, you can read one verse and get different revelations. You can read one verse and get different revelations. You can study uh, mathematics. For example, you're practicing mathematics. You know the first chapter? It's uh, algebra. So, always the time you'll find the same things. The same things. So today I can practice mathematics. Practicing chapter 1. Practicing chapter 1. I will find the same things. But when you read the Bible, you can read one verse. But get different revelations. Just to show you that the Bible is a spiritual book. You can get a lot of things from one verse. But when you study algebra, you will get one thing, always the time. So that's to show you that the Bible is a spiritual book. It's another sign to show that the Bible is a spiritual book. And when you uh, you attach yourself with with the spiritual things, you attach your mind is busy with meditating upon the spiritual things. Your mind becomes spiritual. So actually, we cannot become spiritual without the word of god what makes us to be spiritual is the word of god 
and for us to be spiritual we need to meditate upon the word of god because you cannot be in a place where your mind have never been hey you will never be in a place where your mind have never been so as you need to meditate hopefully i will talk about meditation the other time but what you need to do as a child of god you must know god people who are in the church they are so distracted are distracted they were so easily let me show you an example do you know if someone from outside the church they can speak better about your pastor and when they speak better about your pastor then you begin to see your pastor in another way then you're not longer seeing your pastor the way you used to see him only to find out people they are lying and you begin to lose interest you then you begin to uh, pull back then you begin to uh, 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 hate your pastor and all this stuff it's because people from outside they have a louder voice than people who are inside the church let me show you an example I that's why they're easily distracted. When people that are in the church, they are so relaxed to the point here, they are not even the attention. Our God who pay attention in they are not even paying the attention to the word of God. They are in the church, but they are thinking about something else. They are in the church, but they are thinking, what are they going to eat after the church? They are in the church, but you know why? Because their mind, their mind is not there. The mind is not listening to the word of God. So what you need, you need to know God. So that you, may, you may not be shaken, you may not be distracted. So you must know God. Stick to the word of God. Stick to the teachings of your pastor. Stick to what your, your, your father is teaching you. You will never be shaken and you won't be distracted. So many people, they are distracted because of the strange voice that's outside the church. They are not quoting, what they, they are not quoting the scriptures. They are quoting what other people they're saying. So kubari, kubari. So I'm not sure what I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Maybe I'm not sure what I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Kubari, kubari. Ah, kubari. Ah, no. The Bible says, man, this is. I'm not sure what you believe in those things. Are you kubari? Hello, no kubari. Seems like I'm not part of 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 that thing. So you need to stick to the word. You need to stick to the word. Know your story make time for God just make time relax study the word of God and God will elevate you God will take you to another level so yeah so I think I'm done for today I'm done for today uh, may the Lord bless you may the Lord elevate you Shalom